Welcome to New Hampshire's Wild Side. I'm Mark Beauchene. And I'm Christina Luby. We'll take you behind the scenes of the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department to learn more about the people and projects of your wildlife agency. We'll share with you tips and tactics to help you make the most of your time while in New Hampshire's woods and waters. And along the way, you'll meet real people who love life outdoors. Now, let's discover more about New Hampshire's Wild Side. Pull. 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 I got started in this. It's a bit of a long story. Um, with Manchester Memorial High School, they started a trap team my freshman year. And I've always been interested in being part of a team because I have uh, medical conditions that prevent me from doing anything contact or track and field related. So I went home to my mom and told her, hey, I'm gonna join the trap team. And she's like, track, you can't, you can't run. So I'm like, no, trap, like shotgun shooting. And she turns to me, she goes, you've never shot a shotgun in your life, why? She always told me to try new things. So we went to the intro shoot and they threw targets for the new kids to try. Oh. The first shot she missed, the second shot she hit, she turned around with the biggest smile on her face and said, I need one of these. She has been hooked ever since. My very first competition was Mass State Shoot three years ago. Pull! Oh. Was really excited, I was happy because I got to do something part of a team and adrenaline rush was huge for me. I just had like a whole lot of adrenaline. I was really excited, I was jumpy and I was so ready to go. Oh. I was so excited to be able to get like a five on the, on the field in general and now, now it's a big difference because I'm excited when I get fives on each stations or 20s. AIM is a youth organization under the umbrella of the Amateur Trap Shooters Association and it, AIM stands for Academics, Integrity and Marksmanship and it's um, designed to help the kids get from um, entry level shooters and hopefully stay in the program through adulthood. Pull! Pull! I've been Whoa. doing this for around three years now. I originally started shooting when I was eight years old. I started off with handguns and moved my way up. Whoa. Whoa. I started in hunter safety and Mike, our coach, he, um, he at the end, he's like, does anybody want to do trap shooting? My first competition was a little nervous and um, we got there and I was in the first round with all the adults and it was doubles so two of them went up and I think I did, I think I came in third out of five adults. Pull. Pull. This is like a, like a very close family. Being able to be part of a team is really huge in a sense for me. I love the fact that we have the camaraderie as a group of not just people that know each other, but almost like a separate family in a sense. This has been the coolest ever. I have enjoyed watching the, the, the students come alive and Whoa. it's just been, I was just talking with the Holden's dad a little while ago. It's like, it's just Whoa. been really fun watching him blossom out. You know, he came with an old um, pump shotgun and you know, he shot my gun one weekend and now he's got a new gun and, and just smashing them. And it's, it's just so cool watching, you know, new Whoa. talent come up. I love to do it for the rest of my life. It's a fun sport and you get to meet a lot of new people. I definitely see this as a lifelong sport because of the amount of people that you get to meet and how much fun it is and the adventures you basically get to go on in this. Um, collegiate, one of the most unused scholarships that I know of is female shooting. So I definitely want to go for scholarships in that. To see them succeed. Pull. To set a realistic goal and come back to the line and be like, I hit five, you know? And then have that number slowly progress to, you know, I, I, I did a 23 today. Or for them to sit there and go, did I just get my first 25? And you go, 
Yeah, and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, that whole, the, the light up, the, the, the camaraderie that they do, and nobody's trying to outdo the other person because you're trying to beat yourself. There's some kids that need an organization and they need to be doing something like this. They need to be outside, they need to be doing something that connects them with culture and history and the, the trap shooting gets them with the shotguns and everything. It's, it's just a cool experience for them. Each year, New Hampshire Fish and Game's Hunter Education Program, with the help of over 450 volunteer instructors, trains over 3,000 students in hunter and trapper education. Learn more about hunting in New Hampshire at huntnh.com. Hi, we're at the seacoast. We're gonna go exploring in the intertidal zone. Let's go see what we can find. The intertidal zone is the area where the ocean meets the land. This is the area where we'll find tidal pools. Tidal pools are formed as the tide goes out. Water and critters, like the striped killifish and sticklebacks, they get trapped in the rocky pools. These unique habitats are a fun place to explore. Tidal pools provide feeding opportunities for seabirds and waterbirds, like these common eiders. It allows them to hone their fish catching skills. Oh look, a hermit crab. Hermit crabs don't have a shell when they're born. They have to find a snail shell to live in. As they grow bigger, they have to switch out their shells to find one that fits them better. Okay, let's put them back in the water. Here's a green crab. They are not native and are considered invasive. Here we have a sand shrimp. They are fast swimmers with a translucent body making them difficult to see. Lifting rocks and moving seaweed can reveal lots of hidden creatures. Try to replace rocks right where you found them. That was so much fun. Tide pooling is a great activity to do with kids or for the young at heart. You never know what you're gonna find, so get outside and explore. Late summer is the perfect time to visit Great Bay Discovery Center. You might even get to touch a horseshoe crab or you may find a horseshoe crab molt while you discover Great Bay. Hey guys, it's me, Laura, from the Morning Buzz. Another year for our Lend a Helping Can radio auction fishing trip. This year, things turned out a little different. Uh, this is the O'Rourke family from Manchester, New Hampshire. Now, Gail bought this for her husband, Steve, as a gift. I think Steve found out he was going to be fishing against me, got a little nervous, and decided his daughter, Julia, who got a great report card, 
deserve this as a surprise. So we know Steve's afraid to fish against me, and it was so great of him to donate this to his daughter, Julia. Julia, are you ready to go fishing? Yeah, let's go. Okay, Julia, we're gonna teach you how to cast right now, okay? So what we do is we're gonna leave the worm. These are our wacky worms, they're yeah. the best ones, right? And you leave it about that much down. And you're gonna hold this, flip this over. And we're gonna go back, just like in your softball when you're batting. You're gonna throw it and you let go. Look at that. Then flip this over and then you're gonna start whacking your worm. Hold your line. It's perfect. Great. Isn't this peaceful? Oh, I feel it. <gasps> you gotta go, 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 go. Remember, keep that bent. Keep, we keep this down. Oh, it. Yeah. See, see your pull up too hard. You gotta keep it. Remember how Mark was pretending yeah. to fish? Yeah. We're gonna keep that bent. Not even a fight. This guy. This no! Guy. <laughs> That's sad. I still feel like I'm gonna win. They're here. Oh, I lost. Well, see, it didn't count. I didn't even get to pull them in. I reeled it up, but I lost them, so it doesn't count. You have to get it on board for it to count. Fish on. How big? Not big. Isn't that great? Can I throw him back in now? Yeah. Thank you, fishy fish. You name him fishy? Is it a branch? It's not fighting me. It's just slow. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Now he's fighting. That's a big one. Yeah, that's what he likes. Come on, make a nice picture. Oh. Let's get him. I want to thank you so much for coming out fishing with me. Did you have a good time? Yeah. What was your favorite part of today? Catching the fish and the ride. Don't you love that feeling of catching a fish? It gives you the shakes maybe? It yeah. It makes you smile? You think you're going to stick with fishing? Awesome. Good five. We hope you enjoyed this episode of New Hampshire's Wild Side. Remember to check back to see new content on nhwildside.com. Until next time, I'm Mark Beauchamp. And I'm Christina Lupi. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. To learn more about life outdoors and the Hampshire fishing game, check out these videos. And remember to subscribe.